We're back to our image and I've had a little bit of time to just meditate over it. As you can see, I've put in some light streaks. Um, I'm not sure if I'm totally happy with these light streaks. So I'll just show you, we'll grab our previous brush from our previous lesson, which I've just saved out, which you can quite simply do here. And I'll hit F5 to get rid of that. And I'll just uh, create a new layer and maybe just grab some colors and X just to switch from forward to front. And I might just amp up the opacity and flow and okay. So we want to do this and just flow with the image and where we think we would have our streets. Uh, as you can see, I'll flip with X and X will just flip through foreground and background color. And I'm just trying to flow with where I think streets would be and where lights would probably come out. I mean, after a while, I did this pretty quickly. So I'm just trying to build this up a little more. I might actually go to a deeper color. And try that. And I'm just, once again, just detailing this up and just trying to flow with what I think is actually there. Uh, it's always good to, uh, to give yourself a little time so you can analyze your image and see what exactly you think is working and what's not working. Sometimes I, I do tend to find when I finish an image, I'm quite happy with it. But when I go back to it, there are so many things that I would just change and this is no different. And as, as you can see, my pen is, uh, I'll just bring it up, it's sensitive to pressure. So the less pressure I do, I can start with very light strokes at the back and they gradually probably just get a little thicker and a little more brought out at the front. Okay, so we have our streaks coming out. This is just giving a little bit of life to what we have left. Detailing is always uh, one of the most important aspects. And so let's just see what we had on our previous one. Maybe we previous one I can actually just uh, blur out because I think if I just caution blur it looks a bit too sharp and maybe I can just hit the E for razor and just slowly erase out where I think and as you can see it's just gaining a little more life let's flip again the canvas just image rotation Flipping around the canvas, I still think there's not really enough depth as it should be. And maybe we can even have a, just a, something happening here, a lens flare or something. So I've just Googled, or Googled around an image and I'll bring in that lens flare. And it's just a simple lens flare that I've Googled around, but I, it's quite noisy and I kind of like the color. So I'm just going to crop that. So to get rid of that white border, and I'll just bring that in and get rid of that. And, nope, I don't want to save it. And I'll just bring that to the top and set to screen mode. Okay, so I'll flip that. And I'll, I want to put that maybe somewhere here. And so I'll hit eraser. And I'll just erase softly into that. Or maybe just something like, like so. I think that's giving it a little something. It might haze out a little more. So I just hit brush, bring out that soft brush. I just might grab that color. And just grab my soft brush uh, just any one of these i'll just take off the dynamics for it just 
see how that's affecting it. Maybe just bring it slowly down. Just maybe my cloud brush might be a good brush. Just scroll up. That might just uh, get rid of a bit too much darkness that's going on down there. Okay, let's go into our overlay. Then again, it's, it's all about detailing and this is really the part that takes the most and actually probably doesn't make it as seeable. I might actually go into the darken. I think that these trees need to be darkened below. They seem to be standing out a little too much. So I just darken that. I'll brush, just maybe darken these edges, just creating a little bit of artificial ambient occlusion just to give it a little something that's generally in the edges where the dirt builds up and I'm just painting away till I think these trees actually start to sit on the ground maybe the people I think that's, that's looking better And here also, just getting really into it, really. Just continuing on. And just as you can see, things are really starting to sit much better. These trees, they would have a sort of a shadow around where they sit. I'm always uh, messing around with my opacity, just trying to put it up a little, a little further down, just seeing what works. Um, just detailing around the building a little bit. I'm continuing on. And maybe we have a little more overlay. I just probably grab a white and see what happened. As uh, we have this part, which is kind of catching the sun. F I'll hit F6 and grab my color swatch. And that's really just bringing that out. I'm just trying to see what happens over there. And I might just start to get into a little more detail. Uh, I think these buildings might also deserve just to get some highlights. So we might actually just start painting in some highlights in our next lesson. And I think we also might just need to touch up something around this sun. And we will also need to add our final adjustments to this. Uh, but let's just see how we're going so far. Yeah, it's really coming together. Um, let's just paint very quickly. Just a little more into that. And there we go. That looks fantastic. I'm quite happy with that. 